down. Like, probably touch somebody, you'll knock him out. If you don't knock you out, we gotta clean him up. Okay? I had if you ride around here with tents, it's over for you. I used to have my tents. I used to roll I my shit down. I, I, I plead the fence. I used to roll my shit down. It's good to have your windows rolled down. Let me say that. Then, <laughs> what if it's brick? <laughs> if it's brick, I'm saying you gotta. <laughs> It's another block you could turn on that could get you to your destination. Let me say that. Right, okay, I get what you say. You don't have to necessarily turn down. You, you, certain blocks, block. you know, unless you're yeah. since 2016. And how long you did? I did six years. Six years, okay. I was framed. Damn. To the lads. Shot, shot, shout out to the lads. Doing, doing, mate, you click the title, you read the page. Today we're in the heart of Canarsie, Brooklyn, the home of the late, great Pop Smoke. But we're not doing it alone. We'll be joined by Kanasi's very own rising star, Rich Roller, and his music is fire. Take a listen. We're taking a deep dive into the streets that shape the sound and the style of Pop Smoke. We're gonna hear firsthand from Rich Roller about what makes Kanasi such a unique place for the hip hop culture culture the impact pop smoke had on the community as well as getting to know rich roller what he has going on his music career his childhood and the impact the challenges and the obstacles facing growing up in canarsie brooklyn aka the floor so sit back relax drop that comment hit that subscribe subscribe for the vibe let's get into it what up what up what up youtube shout out shout out shout out to the lads welcome back to outside with tt it's your girl tt chanel i'm excited for the launch of season two of the outside with tt adventure series join me we'll be visiting neighborhoods meeting incredible people listening to stories that often go unheard last season we ventured into places like Newark with local legends like big shark discussed the ongoing addiction problems in Harlem. We even connected with the homeless in NYC to gain a deeper insight into their communities. This season, we're taking things to another level. Expect more raw conversations, eye-opening experiences, and a closer look at the vibrant cultures that define each community. So you know what to do. Sit back, relax, drop that comment, subscribe for the vibe. Let's go. Oh no, he definitely influenced the neighborhood. I'm not gonna say he did it, right? He definitely influenced the neighborhood. But, you know, it's shit that happened before that. I'm saying it's people that was before him. That is That's true. what people don't that is know true. about. That is true. That's what I'm here to, I'm saying? Right. Set the record straight on. I'm not here to take no credit away from that. nobody. I agree with that. But, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, people be acting like they ain't come from nowhere. Okay. Like, who brought y'all outside? Where y'all came from? So, this, all the older niggas just started, what, listening to y'all little kids? Gotta make Pretty it make much. sense. For a mad positivity, good vibe to the neighborhood, togetherness, he did a lot. I know it's such little time too. That's crazy. You did a lot. He did shit that most people take years to accomplish. They just had a big ass video right here right. from the peppers. Had this whole shit yeah. jumping right here. This one who retarded. Yeah, right here from the peppers, right here. Oh, then he yeah. shot one in front of the gas oh, station down there. A bunch of little kids. I ain't gonna lie, he's for the community. Right in front of the peppers. It's for the community, man. But it's niggas that paved the community. Is what I'm saying. Okay. You know, a lot of people try to. So let me in. ask you something. So who did you look up to? Um, I looked up to a couple of the older niggas and shit, but that's before I found out the niggas' butt. <laughs> I'm saying, you know, hey, funny. Just, I like that. You just keep it real. Like that's that. how I be, though. That's how I be, though. It's, it's, it's still a couple I look up they to. They used to be the OG, but now they be losers. That's how I be, though. A couple that's, I'm saying, down yeah. south, I still look up to. I call Big Bro. I ain't got no problem with that. Yeah, I know where I came from. Free the guys, free the guys. You know, a lot of niggas get old and then try to put it on. No, no, bro, no, bro, no, no. Nah, you still big, bro. I don't care about the money. I got more money than you. But and they got to You got to look up to them. They got to be giving yes. positive. You can't yes. just be. Yeah, this because they older than you. Yeah. I noticed that. This is because they older. Oh, I'm an OG, but are you really mm -hmm. an OG? Like, did you really put niggas on? Did niggas you, didn't do that. Did you give the game back? A lot of people ain't do that. Yeah. They don't want to give my That's recognition, so now I got to take my shit now. A lot okay. of people ain't going to like it because it's good stories and it's bad stories. And a lot of niggas who y'all think is somebody is caught up in these bad stories and they was victims. Damn. So. I'm lying yeah, to you. Really? It's real game. It's free game y'all getting, too. Y'all better uh, hit that subscribe. You want to get a dawn or um, a chance? A dawn. Which one you want? Oh, they getting lit. 
How much blunt is a typical Brooklyn nigga smoke a day? You need to ask how many grams we smoke a day. Like, I go home. It's three o'clock and I probably don't smoke. Three o'clock grams are probably more than that. And we're not even done yet. Yeah, yeah, me the dawn, bro. Where's that? See it, Tim? You're gonna say, Yeah, it's right there. They're gonna ask him where's that. Yeah, that one. <laughs> he started laughing. You know the vibe. Regular shit. This, I guess this is some normal day shit. This regular. Yeah, this regular day. Regular, regular Saturday. In the town with it. Yeah. Okay. It's only three o'clock. Like this ain't it's even normal drinking time. It's like, only three o'clock. It's like, like fourteen, fifteen. This whole shit getting spent today. It's that time. It's that time. Stay tuned, baby, a movie. Right. movie. Drop that comment, hit that subscribe. He got hit, he barred the up. Like, I see how he, he making sure he don't. Oh, yeah, up. he don't play that. Yeah, he barred the look. <laughs> it's that bank glass right here. Like, the ghetto suburb. Right? Like, ain't nothing getting through that shit. <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the floor. See, why they call it the floor? See, you gotta let some people know why they, they call, call it, it the floor. floor. See, why is it the so you want to answer that? Why they call it the floor? I need, I need to know that. You the top, that I need to know the top three. Why they call us the floor? See, why do they call us the floor? See, like, what the floor? See. Why do they call what the floor see though? What part of the floor see like? Ooh, we are we on 81st, gotta, East 81st. Right. Sometimes you gotta set the record straight, right? Okay. Canarsie is big. You got the 80s, the 90s, the hundreds, right? Okay. You got the Patagons, you got Bayview, you got Brookline. Goodwood projects is they not from the floors, right? The floors is the 80s from once you hit Ralph in Flatlands, all the way to Wimson in Flatlands. Then you got Foster. All the way to see you. I'm saying in the 80s. That's it. And that's when you officially in the fourth. Yes. Once you get to the 90s and the clocks and all of that, that's just Kanasi. Regular Kanasi. I'm sorry. What happened at this part? Anything special? Oh, shit, anything? A lot. What happened? <laughs> a lot of shit happened at this part. A lot Everything. of shit. Niggas I got beat up, tricked out, ran what? away. Bikes took in. Not the bike. School safety. Have to do DoorDash and shit. Like nah, bike. hell no. This is like we talking like oh one, oh two, oh three, when it was like thirty niggas, twenty Sorry. niggas on one corner. Good. That's how it was out here. Yeah. It wasn't an easy time. You come outside and you get a credit card and now you up on account. Now you had to like really put in work. It was thirty niggas on one corner hustling. Yeah. But that sound like some war shit. That's Ain't no war shit. Nah, I'm saying we was all. Oh, y'all was all family. You know what I'm saying? We was all one type shit, but you still had to hold your own. So a lot of niggas right now probably wouldn't even made it back then. All right, to be honest. The zombies of Canarsie. I'm just keeping it a big. He on that shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tweaking. He tweaking. You got those out here, too. You got little bug out niggas like that catching episodes and shit. I mean, he got that. So how was it growing up, like, you know what I mean, in the floor? You got an apple juice in? I'm about to say, he's uh, just breaking the floor in broad day like gangsta shit. Hell That's yeah. That's some Brooklyn shit right here. That's what the fuck I love about my city. You say, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, hard with it. <laughs> right? <laughs> gangsta shit. Oh, you got to take a shot. Woo! Shot, bro, you right, man? You got to take a shot, man. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. Shot time. though, man. It's my neighborhood. I grew up here. I was raised here. So, all right. So, let me ask you something. Because the news, the clips, I ain't gonna lie. I done seen some crazy clips before I pulled up here. You feel me <laughs> now? I was born and raised in Crown Heights, and then I moved to Flatbush. Now, mm -hmm. the stories I heard about Canarsie, I ain't gonna hold you. The community of Canarsie is outraged as another person was killed by gun violence earlier this week where bullets flew in a triple shooting that killed 28-year-old Aaron Vincent. Story this morning, an overnight shooting has left a man critically wounded. It happened on East 104th Street in the Canarsie section of Brooklyn. If I met a shorty and she said she in Canarsie, I ain't coming to see her. I ain't going to hold you. We're not in the wrong crowd. I come to the wrong hood. Come and to the wrong 
over and lights out. Uh huh. We from Brooklyn. We ain't, we ain't stupid. Facts. We ain't no dummy. So I need to know, like, what's the what's the confusion? Like, if you low, you safe. If you blow, you safe. If you like, it, it, um, ain't really no confusion for real. Cause like, we got we got crips, we got bloods. Um. We don't got none of that other shit though. I'm man. screaming. Like, none of that you know? other shit. That's it. <laughs> like, yeah, let's go to the man. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, I gotta keep shit clean. Keep it clean for YouTube. We're gonna keep it clean for the YouTube. But yeah, you got um, you got bloods, crips out here. RP the goat. Have manners to be respectable. Ooh. It's not like back in the days to where you see y'all and yo, we all from it on We're not doing that. We yeah. don't care. Okay, so like, now y'all don't trip, y'all. We was okay. in like junior high school and shit like that. You come past this avenue right here. I ain't gonna lie to you, you getting swarmed. Somebody you going to the park. Yeah, you gonna ask them this you, going like, at least. Maybe they gonna see a shorty. I ain't gonna lie to you, like we just doing shit like that. We going in your pockets, we ask you where you from, you're not from here, we digging you down. Like probably tell somebody yo, knock him out. If you don't knock you out, we gotta clean him up, but we gonna clean you up for the meantime. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, mommy. Sorry, that. mommy. Type shit. Word. So let me ask you. So I heard if you ride around here with tents, it's over for you. I ain't gonna lie. I heard that shit. I heard if you ride around here with tents, it's over for you. I used to have my tents. I used to roll I my shit down. I, 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 I plead the fifth. I used to roll my I shit plead, down. Like, now nah, I'm in the floor. So let me roll these shit. I, 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 I do not pose a threat. I do not pose a threat, yo. I plead the fifth. I used to have to roll my shit down. I plead the fifth. Yo, let me get me get a cup, kid. <laughs> no funny bro. shit. Mikey, what's the word? Like, y'all see the Thank artwork? R.I.P. Yo, yo, you good? You good? See that? I knew I had to roll my windows down. See, I was right. Nah, I, always listen to your inner voice. I'm always, saying it's always, you know. Always listen to your inner voice. Uh, let me say this. It's always good to have your windows rolled down. Let me say that. Yeah. What if it's brick? <laughs> if it's brick, I'm saying you gotta... <laughs> It's another block you could turn on that could get you to your destination. Let me say that. Right, okay, I get what you're saying. You don't have to necessarily turn down you, you, certain blocks, block. you know, unless you yeah. want to, but then, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little consequences, nothing too crazy. First question How long you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music really since I was a kid. I've been doing like little freestyles and shit like that. Came home 2014, probably since 2016. And how long you did? Six years. Six years, okay. I was framed. Damn. Frame. I mean, a lot of niggas say that. I'll be real with you. A lot of niggas say that. I ain't saying you one of the niggas that <laughs> be saying that. <laughs> but a lot of niggas be saying that. Nah, I was framed, man. They right, framed man. me they took six years from you. Took six. They took 11 because I had to come home and do five on parole. So. Damn. And once you want them papers, it's over for you. It's completely over. All right, guys. So around this time, Rich Roller had to go handle some business. He allowed the cameras to follow him up until a certain point. So let's get to it. Let's get to know more about Rich Roller. New York, it'd be like the niggas that really be getting known for real really don't be the ones that was really pushing buttons. You see how Fabio make it and he talked like he was like one of the ones that was really pushing buttons and you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. no, he wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Word. Niggas know my music is hot. That's number one. I'm not a drill rap. I got concept. Porn rain. Sandbox took a oath. What's some niggas change? Face shot. Brains hang. See that shit again. Oh, you I say you're me. not a drill rapper. That's, that's different to hear. Nah, I'm not a drill rapper. You know, you from New York. That's all, you know what I mean? That's all you get. Everybody yeah. sounded like first it was a pop smoke wave. Shout out to pop smoke. You know what I'm right. saying, rest in peace of the dog. First it was his sound. Then after that it was uh K Flock sound. Everybody started saying the like shit in every single bar you ain't mm -hmm. like in a pause. And who sound it was after that? That's it's still that sound. Matter of fact, right now. Are you bringing that different? That different sound. Different. I'm flavor. just bringing me for real. Fire. Like I'm just rapping. I'm a rapper. Like I said, I'm saying slash artist. So. I try to nibble and dab and like I do little tracks instead of like street tracks and shit like that. So I make little club bangers, shit like that, shit for the females. No, you a player. Got it. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, I ain't a player. So you but drop it R and B, but it raps. Yeah, type shit like. That's why right. I be doing his shit. Like I be trying to get that shit down pat. Is there a reason ladies. why you don't do drill? Um. There was no drill when I was coming up, like okay. that sound, like you know that beat pattern, like that UK, like it wasn't no drill coming up, like DMX was a no no drill beat, Jay Z was a no no drill beat, like I'm saying Fab was a no no drill beat, so. Yeah, you actually had the rap back then, guys. And I feel like that's where, like, the industry is going right now. Like, 
it's kind of flip floppy, but it's going back towards like you gotta rap now. You gotta have some type of concept, substance, like because who wanna wake up to bow all day? Oh my god, that day shit like give that? me a headache. I turn that shit off, right? I gotta switch it up at some point. But I ain't knocking the drill music though. I ain't knocking it. It's not. It's just not for me. Is it too violent? Is it too violent? Um. Like, do you feel like it's too violent? Growing up, like growing up, we didn't really hear about the shit that Fifty Cent was doing. We knew about it, but we didn't hear the shit. You I want to say that it's just it's being more publicized now than it was back then. What I'm saying back then we never used to hear about it. Now it's all over the media. You could just go on YouTube and it's right there in your face. See somebody. Yes, so it's being more publicized now than before. I think, really and truly, everything been happening. It's just more in the public eye. How do you stay focused with everything that's going on in the floor seat right now? Uh, I got I got my kids. You know, I will be focused on my kids and just like knowing where I came from. You feel me? Like I came like I really came up from when this shit was really like just Kanasi, like. When it was savages outside, like for real, you had to really beat somebody and put in work to really just even just come outside and stand on the corner, like even playing basketball in the park. Niggas is kicking you off the court. I'm lying, chill. I heard they take your ball too. Niggas taking your basketball, kicking you off the court, all of that. Like that's what type of shit it was. Not you can really get bodied over a basketball game. It's like dice. I won't say that going a little bit too far. Ah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> niggas was ballers out here. We played ball. We had the FYA. Shout out to my son's screen. I'm saying niggas was ballers out here. Before on the street shit and all that. But, nah, we done had some bros that we done beat some niggas up over basketball games. You know, niggas be getting mixed up, fouling, hacking all crazy. And we tell a nigga, yo, stop hacking, nigga, hack you again. And they ain't gonna tell you again. Right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna hold you. Look at niggas give. You see, they give you chances. They give you. Yeah, we gonna give you a, a slight little chance, but after that, the chance we give you, we really gonna provoke you to do something again. So it's like you still gonna get your ass beat, regardless of the matter. Like if you do something or not. So what do y'all gotta say when they say New York niggas don't got guns? Don't got guns? That's what they say. I don't have any guns. Fire. I don't have any guns. I do music and I take care of my kids. I don't. I don't know about any guns. That man is media trained. A media train. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about no guns. We gotta stop the violence, man. How do y'all go about stopping the violence when, like, the younger generation is? And I'm gonna show some of some of your music videos too. You know, I, I got to. Yeah, I'm so gonna, they, they gonna see that. The, they gonna see what you what you preaching. How I stop the violence? I'm saying in my music video, I talk my environment, what I came up from, what I saw. If it's not me, it's probably one of my men that lived it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not bragging or boasting. It's just me, just getting my story out there for real what were some of the challenges growing up in kanasi jeez we're gonna talk about it we had out oh man talk about it because looking at y'all right now it don't look like it. y'all look fine I'm i mean sick. i'm comfortable I'm, I'm in one of the most dangerous hoods quote unquote according to the news you feel me right now we got for the nine this is one of the most dangerous neighborhoods too we in the yeah. nine gs9 neighborhood right now right we're in gs9 neighborhood so i'm shout out to the nuna you know what I mean? I'm just clearly like I don't know. It ha was it really that challenging? No, nah, it was or challenging. Or did you just fit in? No, I, I I I fit in, right? But it was challenging to my peers, and it was challenging to me as well. Like, cause you coming outside and you're not the only one trying to do the same thing. You got other people. You got people that's older than you. People that's smaller than you. That's really bigger than you for real. So it's like you got to mix in, and you don't know nobody. And then you got the peer pressure. You probably don't want to do something, but I'm saying you like, damn, I might, I might not, I might be looked at as a bozo if I don't do it. I'm not cool. Like, that's how it was for real. But we had a lot, a lot of challenges. We just were probably alone in itself. Not to say that everybody grew up so less fortunate. Sconex, yeah, we talking before Sconex. What exactly shit. is that? What is that? You got to explain that. That was like a, Sconex was like a MySpace. Or Facebook, or all that. You know what I'm saying that was like a MySpace and all that. You talk like around the time, like they had like sidekicks and shit like that. BBMs yeah, and all that. Sidekick like. days, drop that comment. Y'all remember the sidekick days? That's I'm crazy. saying the BBMs and shit like that. Word. All right, we about to get a little bit more personal. So, what is the rule? Like, what causes the violence? Where does the violence stem from? Because everybody says over.
but I always feel maybe it's because I'm a lesbian. I don't know. I feel like women start every goddamn day. But um, y'all let me know. Really had the internet for real? This before um, the internet. I mean, I feel like this shit been going on since the eighties. Yeah, facts. That been going on. Like, <laughs> it's just being know. more publicized now than before. Facts. Um, damn. These niggas is wildin'. These niggas is wildin'. Yeah, facts. I'm about to hop out and go right around the corner. I don't know. They jumped out on somebody, right? Yeah. See the D's ran down. Oh, look, it's boy. going up. They digging down the look car. They stopped. Damn, that's crazy. Regular Brooklyn shit. The streets always, always gonna call though, right? By the end of the day, it's not. It's not. It's not what it is. It's not what it is. Because you got to be ready for everything now. You got to be ready to shoot. You got to be ready to get shot. Possible die. Tie people up. Go to jail. Like, possibly go to jail for the rest of your life. Or get shot and get paralyzed. You get what I'm saying? Like, bail money, lawyer fees, your moms, your grandmoms crying and shit like that. Like, you got to really be ready for this shit for real. You beefing with niggas. Niggas staying outside your crib trying to kill you. Like, shooting through your window. Your mom sleep and shit like that. You gotta be ready for real, for real. Cause this shit ain't the game. So at this time, we ran into a few of rich young homies. Let's hear their side of the story. Let's see how it is growing up in the floor. See from their point of view. Why is it called the floor? I'm gonna let the dogs, the subies answer that. It's a culture. It's a culture. No sucker shit. No a lot of niggas is patched out. You hear me? A lot of niggas is patched out. They be in different states acting like they still from here, like they could come here. Niggas can't come here. <laughs> a lot of you, and they got it. And they, and, they, and they don't got nothing to do with niggas' money, niggas' jewelry, niggas be trying to make it. I'm saying if you could pan the camera, but you can't because there's a lot of savages that don't want their face on camera. But as you can see, you could, I'm saying, it's a lot of jewelry and all that going on. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got their jewels on. You know what I'm saying? So it's not about niggas' jewelry, it's not about niggas' money. Niggas got jewelry, niggas got bust down APs, Cartiers, all that shit. Niggas got it too. I'm saying? Niggas just patched out because niggas just be thinking they bigger than the program. Um, yo, how you inspire me? Like, yo, that's this is big, bro. To be honest, like you feel me? Like, I'm a I'm a young bro, but I ain't a young bro no more. Like, I mean, like you said, like I've been around longer than other niggas. Facts. Like, you inspire me because you been out here, nigga, doing shit more than other niggas still to this day. There's not no makeup, none of this shit. Like, that's a fact, stuff, bro. Like, if you don't have no common sense, if you don't know what you're talking about. You shouldn't be talking. Like. Bro, really inspired niggas to be better around. He doing this, he still doing this shit. Even, different. even before the music, like, before the music, you feel me? Like, niggas like thrills, niggas can call me for shit. Feel me? I'm coming outside, like, need to finish shit for real. Like I said, I don't like talking about myself. You feel me? You can ask the niggas I'm around. You feel me? And it's not me trying to be little one nigga or take no shites from a nigga. You get what I'm saying? Like, man, this is his family. Like people that can really uh, yeah, we tell y'all for real. Thing. You that's feel me? The fact. people who y'all think that's from over here that somebody is. That's a fact. They're really not. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke, right? That's number one. RP Pop. That's a fact. Number two, that's more like my young boys, like Ghost. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas like that, that was next to him. You feel me? As far as him, like influencing us, you got to say you, like, you asking me. You feel me? I'm not from that generation. You feel me? There's people that. That's a fact. Came before Pop Smoke. That influenced me. You feel me? I'm older than Lil Bro. You know what I'm saying? He brought the he That's brought the fact. influence as far as like I ain't gonna lie, Pop did like try to do the togetherness. And I'm saying he had the kids outside. He was for the community. But there's niggas that was outside before him as well. You feel me? And I wanted to shed a light on that too. Because people try to like to forget certain players and key players like, man, nah, I'm one of those. Like, that's why his memorial is right here and not back there where he's from. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's right here for a reason. Why did they choose his? Because this is the heart of this shit. This is the heart of this shit. If you really make fun of like, I ain't got a lot. Certain shit. Like, it's common sense, right? Though, right? Or don't need to be explained. That's a fact. It's like, if you same. go to a neighborhood, and you see if a person is from 10 blocks, 15 blocks away, and then they got a memorial all the way over here, 
it's like, come on, you get what I'm saying? Like, little bro from the 90s. They, they shit all the way in the 80s. You right. get what I'm saying? Like, make it make sense for real, but people are trying to, like, argue that. Like, bro, I'm not here for the arguments or the debates. You feel me? Like, I'm talking to a nigga that's from here for real. Like, I was out here when it was whites out here. You feel me? Like, when it was white people and Italians out here. You feel me? So, niggas can't really argue me that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody chose before, their before own the lane. Shit, before the it's a spam. Like, you feel me? It's F-A-M. That F don't that stand for right. flaws. This niggas be throwing up. Yeah, don't it really start with flaws. That's what it really was. That's what it really was. Like, you're not paying nothing else. Like, it's a crypt too. So, niggas know what's up. Like, yeah. FGF, Proceed, Jeff, Rich Roller. You know what I'm saying? GDG. Niggas know how we coming. Shit. The challenge oh, is the diversity. You know what I'm saying? The shit that we was up against. Like, shit. It's, like, a, it's a lot of ups yeah. and downs. You feel me? Like, it's a lot yeah, of shit. Fine. Like, I feel like, shit. I feel like there's a lot of shit. Like, niggas feel like niggas can't come back from this shit. Like, nah, yeah, that's shit, a like, fact, though. Niggas, like, we wasn't fine, right? We grew up. We had to, we had to make it that way. Down, you know? Funny. We had to really come outside and get it. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, a fact. Not, not to say that. It's not a good environment, right? We didn't have a good upbringing. You get what I'm saying? But certain people were just fatherless. You get what I'm saying? Some wasn't. Some follow behind their friends, you get what I'm saying? Which is nothing wrong at that too. Niggas got best friends, like, man, my friend into that, like, it's my man, I'ma get into that too, you feel me? Like, it was more so shit like that as well. And the fam shit was more so like a community thing, you get what I'm saying? Like, you from here, all right, like, you gotta be from here to, you know what I'm saying, be a part of this. You can't be from over here and be fam, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's how it was at that time. It was just like, a family, a togetherness, like, be we came outside, we made our, yo, Wagwan, yo. We, we came outside, we made our, our brotherhood. So, but that came, you know, the street shit, you know what I'm saying? Robbery, shooting, gang banging, shit, like like, shit like that, like, niggas trying to kill us, we trying to kill people, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it but how does that start, though? Like, how does it, it don't just, I'm born and niggas trying to kill us. Bro, that's how it is. It's the street up, life. Though, I, right? see you know. I don't know how that shit started. You feel me? Yeah, it's the, it's I don't know how that shit started. Street life. Like, like I said, you run into your ups and downs. You feel me? Or no, it's not even all that, bro. We just be giving the real. That's me going more in the depth will be like recording diamonds and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? That's why I'm just, I keep it like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know yeah, what made it start. Niggas know what made it start. You get what I'm saying? I can only say but so much. You can ask any question you want, but it's up to the person that they want to answer it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's as far as I go on that. I don't got nobody trying to kill me. That's number one. That's clear. Let's make that clear. Because okay? <laughs> you thought you was on the sign, right? Yeah. <laughs> then I don't got nobody trying to kill me. You know what I'm saying? I've been around. Niggas know my face. My face clean. My credit A1. You know what I'm saying I'm good with the gangsters, the robbers. Respect me. You know what I'm saying? I used to be one of them. Shit. Word. But yeah, you know, like, niggas stay focused by getting our money. I want to stay focused, oh, yeah. right? I try to um, I try to keep my mind like elevated. You know what I'm saying? Positive. Like focus on the positive thing right. more than the negative thing. Right now, we're living in the generation of you can't tell these little kids nothing. They know it all. <laughs> they, they know it all. They, they like know it all. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. To an extent. To an extent, but I still I listen though. You feel yeah, me? You I gotta listen. listen and I listen. You learn from the I mean, that's what, if you don't listen, then you're going to learn. You no, I me? recommend the young niggas don't have no OGs. Go to school. That's a fact. Go to like, school, stay out the go to school. If you have an OG, that means you're in the streets. Yeah, that's, that's a fact. Day, that's what don't really mean. I'm a grown ass man. Yeah, I'm a grown ass man. I mean, like, I'm my own. You get what I'm saying? Like, Facts. I got OGs. I've been in the stage with OGs, but nigga, I'm my own OG. Man. I respect him as a man. He's not, not like before. I'm not. 16 and he's 12 13 and no he's a grown adult you feel me i still respect them how they are and that's why i still get the love i still get the big bro that's a grown-ass man he don't got a big bro me he got kids he got a big bro me you know what i'm saying but i move how i move i respect the game i treat niggas how they supposed to be treated like i don't bully niggas i don't do none of that niggas know i could do all of that not to say that niggas not gonna do something to me but i could if i want you feel me but i'm not on that be pop again, nigga. Pop had the hood lit. Oh, no, he didn't, bro. No, I'm like a lot of you. I'm like a lot of you. He had the hood up till. He had the hood up till. I can't, 
I can't take it away. I'm not gonna lie, he had a hood of tip, right? Pop in the '80s. Welcome to the party. Cause remember, right? We got niggas that's connected to pop. You feel me? I'm not connected directly to pop. You feel me? But I got niggas that connected to him. SP. You feel me? 10 K. Ruba. Like, certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? So we Yo, getting the niggas getting certain G. songs that's, that the industry not getting before it come out. You feel me? So we hearing the songs already. You know what I'm saying? And. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, it's a different sound once it hit the industry. Yeah, and that the shit was viral and all of that. And then now they playing it again, like, oh shit, like, what? Yeah, listen. Pop, pop, yeah. pop, yeah. Lie, like, pop. It all, not to cut off the throat, but. Nah, that do you think? I'm this shit, but there's niggas that been here before and shit. Me, for me, I go to. Facts. Oh, that's like, a fact, though. Love, love facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. It's more to come. Like I said before, to reiterate, there's people that came before Pop Smoke. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? That paved the way for him to do. For him to. You get what I'm saying? And this is. Right. And, and we talking outside of music. You get what I'm saying? This yeah. shit is deep in the music. For That's real. a fact. Niggas done put blood, sweat, and tears out here for real. Like, it's a reason why niggas could come outside and walk in Flatlands. It's before social media. This before all of that. You feel me? Like, I'm saying? So we shedding light on that. Like, niggas try to leave niggas like us out. You know what I'm saying? So now I guess we just gotta take it now. We gotta demand it. You feel me? And when they do bring up the flaws, they probably bring up this little nigga name, this little OP nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? Like niggas like that, niggas is patched out. You feel me? I don't got nothing against niggas and none of that. Like that nigga don't shed no light on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Real nigga shit. Right? That nigga don't shed no light on nobody. You see that nigga go repost somebody shit from, from the, the neighborhood, eight, and you got niggas out here. Like, I'm not here for the name dropping and all that, but I got over four or five artists from the town that nigga done charged. You get what I'm saying? And what are you gonna say, yo, it's a business, I'm here to feed my family and... Bro, come on, man. What up, not even me. What about all the little niggas that's doing shit out here, bro? You feel me? You don't repost none of they shit. You don't do nothing. Niggas don't even watch that. Like, niggas know the original doggy at the end of the day. Word. Niggas authentic and this shit for real, for real. So it's like... How we look at shit is like, nigga, you feel me? Niggas not really showing love like that. Like, and the, the, the like, media don't know that, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's dead. It's, for me, it's lit. Like, niggas gonna realize, like, yo, this has been on shit. This has been bro shit. Niggas gonna see what's up. Like, that's it. We don't worry about all that politics. You know what I'm saying? All that niggas. Yeah, we got a shit. politics. Yeah, we don't have a chance. Yeah, we're into the politics. Music shit, I got some shit about to drop. I dropped that. That shit going crazy. That shit like over um that shit over fifty thousand streams. Yeah, that shit grinding. Um you know I got the hit single gumbo, that shit out. That shit almost at a hundred thousand. I got slide out, that shit going crazy. I got manhunt out, that shit going crazy. Burr, I had dropped Blitz season the EP, that shit still going crazy. Got a lot of shit out. Got a lot of shit out. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm working on some shit right now. I'm about to drop a new track. Oh yeah, damn! I got ZBG out too. That track is crazy. I ain't gonna hold you. That track is crazy. New shit about to drop with me, featuring my son Old Gaza. I, you know, I got him on her vultures. Um, and my son Curtis. We about to drop some shit for the ladies in a minute. Don't worry, this is gonna be a surprise. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like when I was when I was young, I was an artist. I'm gonna keep it a buck for me, but. I got hopped up to 40, you feel me? Yeah. This shit is close to you, you gotta toughen up, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Shit ain't shit about nothing, nigga. Like, all that funny shit, whatever niggas is doing, nigga. We Clear know, it up, talk gonna, it, talk your shit. That, nigga. Like, niggas know niggas get older, niggas know how niggas gonna get old. Like, shit gonna be funny now, joking on niggas now, man. That's it, <laughs> you feel me? Niggas gonna be moving like that, authentic and original as we are, niggas. The niggas know what's going on. That's why I niggas don't be now. So they know it. <laughs> Around though, you know, don't. Some niggas that leave the hood don't want to be out here no more. Shit happens to him. Some niggas stay, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like I'm one of them niggas that stayed out here no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. I was just talking his shit, you feel me? That's certain right. niggas, like, certain niggas, when they hear this interview, if you know, you know, niggas gonna know what he talking about, you feel me? Like, he's getting his shit off his chest that he wanna say, you know what I'm saying? But I'm here to uplift the neighborhood, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause niggas can't come back out here. <laughs> niggas that go outside the neighborhood, they don't talk niggas, yo, oh, look at me, money, the niggas are not, no, you can't come out here. All right, let me ask you this, right? What rapper? Or any nigga, right? That's getting money, right? Wouldn't want to come back to their neighborhood. But they say most rappers die in their own neighborhood. That's a cliche. I mean, I mean you die in name, your own neighborhood, you doing something wrong. Niggas die everywhere. So what that mean? 
Niggas die everywhere. Niggas die every day. That's my Niggas die everywhere, right? Look, you Cas. Die, you die, nigga. It don't All right, Casanova. Cas Casanova made it, right? That nigga ain't die. He was always in the towns. He was always in his hood, in the bush, going crazy. What niggas talking about? No. So you, so you don't believe in that whole don't go back to your hood. Bro. What you mean? A Boogie just know. came back to the Bronx. Ain't the shot go off. Lil Dirk just did a fucking interview. Had a million dollars around. So I mean, and the shot go off. Though, they, unlike All saying, right, then. Shit like that, though. Though. You see what you said, right? So if, 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 if I can do this, what does that say? I might, not, I might not take care of my hood yeah. with the money, but offending physically, I did. That's why I could do what I want. Like, I'm saying the dog, the savages around, like the cameras would go up, they could take all my jewelry, beat me up, and all of that. I'm saying, I doubt that's gonna happen to you. That's what I'm saying, right? Because <laughs> I, I did good. No, I did good. That's why, not to say it can't happen to me. I'm a nigga that's smart, I know mm -hmm. it could happen. You mm -hmm. feel me? But so you gotta so break the advice? rules. Like, how do you like give some advice on how to move? How to move? Because most rappers do that in their own hood. You they do me i know just how to move. i know how to move you feel me like it's not something that you could tell somebody how to move it's just something you, you learn yeah i can't to tell you i gotta you know, be like, in you for real you like learn you outside you then really if i tell you you're gonna go mimic it and if you mimic it it's not genuine fact you follow what i'm saying it gotta really be in you for real like i did six years you get what i'm saying i went to jail at 19 i came home 25. nobody had to embrace me when i came home these niggas is over 21. I left the niggas, they was teenagers. I came home, the niggas over 21. Bro. Because I did it right by niggas, though. You get what I'm saying? Shit I did right by niggas, though. Niggas can't come in and say, like, yo, 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 Rolo or Grammy did bad. Like, I did right by niggas. Niggas was in my crib all day, every day. Like, shit started with me. DTF Reem on everything. You are. Rich Roller, 23, under everything. FAM, heavy on it, man. 80s, know the vibe. Don't f down. Big glitch. Beat on the DFP. And still, man, you know what it is, man. Free Poncho, free Chico, free SP. You feel me? Bucks, Shout out the dogs, right? man. Shout out my son Clapper. Right? I'm saying Chen the London, man. All you know, this shit go. Follow me know everywhere, what's up. man. Rich Yo, Roller. Say too two, much, but they know what's up. We know what's up. Steve keep streaming the music. music. Keep that shit going. I got some new shit dropping for y'all niggas. Music. You are going to keep tuned. it going. I got some visuals coming out. I got some new singles coming out. Man, I know what's up, man. That's a fact. Yo, we here.